This is a double glazing unit where we are going to join the two glasses with the air space. By doing this, we are getting insulation. Insulation with respect to heat, insulation with respect to light, insulation with respect to sound. Thereby giving energy saving aspects also to the glass. So what the process goes. First we are loading the glass. If it is a low E product, we will be doing edge deletion. The purpose of edge deletion is the entry to protect the glass coatings from external environment. Now the glass is loaded into the table. You see how the glass is taking. So everywhere we have glass handlers and glass section cups. So the glass has been kept on the adulation table. Now it is going to come Everywhere it is sensor. If this glass goes, that glass comes. he is loading the partner glass
Now if you see the first glass is going inside the washing. Now you see the glass is coming. Now this is going for edit deletion. The purpose of doing edit deletion is to protect the coating surface from external environment. So thereby there is no oxidation in the fluid later on stages. You see here as all the four sides the coating is getting removed. The amount of coating getting removed is known as a bite. The calculation of bite is done based on three factors basically. First one is metal load acting on the glass, self bite or dead, dead load acting on the glass and thermal dilutation at site. You see here the settings of the regulation has been done. Now this is how the glass will look after the edit deletion. This is how the glass will look after the edit deletion. So edge is getting removed. So it is looking like a clear glass so that there is no reaction with the external environment. All four sides you can see the edge is deleted. Coating. Next the glass is going into washing section. Next, the glass is going into washing section. Take the take you take, you take from here. From here, you cannot take. Try. I think they are not going to remove, you take from here. That is the partner glass, they are not going to remove. So the glass is getting washed in the washing machine. Once the glass is Once the glass washing is done, it is coming to assembly section. It is coming to assembly section.
बेसिक एंड फीलिंग है तो शो वीडियो दिस इज दिस इज नोन एज एल्यूमिनियम फ्रेम वेयर दे आर गोइंग टू फिल इन साइड द स्पेसर विद डेसिक एंड द डेसिक एंड विल लुक लाइक दिस द डेसिक एंड विल लुक लाइक दिस दीज आर स्मॉल ग्रैंडुअल्स विच विल एब्सॉर्ब द मॉइस्चर वंस द डी जू इज असेंबल्ड नाउ यू सी नाउ इन साइड द फ्रेम ही इज फिलिंग विद डेसिक एंड फर्स्ट दे आर गोइंग टू ड्रिल द फ्रेम देन वी आर गोइंग टू कीप डेसिक एंड्स You see, so for this edge they have drilled here. For this edge they have drilled here. Now they are going to fill with butyl. Now in the similar way they are going to do other side also. Then okay. Okay, already they have filled with the desiccant. These are all. This is known as bendable spacer. and it is a black spacer you can see the color it is a black spacer and the desiccants if at all any condensation through these holes the desiccants are going to absorb the moisture if you see there are holes in the spacer there are holes in the spacer and through these holes ah uh, if you see there are holes on the spacer and through these holes the desiccant are going to absorb the moisture These are known as a 12 mm black anodized spacer. Butyl application. Slow, slow. Ah. Uh. Remove. Ah. Uh. Now they are going to apply primary sealant to the spacer. This is known as polyisobutylene. So this is working at 135 degrees temperature, melting point, and now it is applying butyl to the frame. You can see butyl is coming out from here through the extruder. You can see on the spacer now butyl is applied. So like this, they are going to apply the butyl on all four sides of the frame, and we need to make sure that a minimum of 2.7 gram is applied on each surface of the butyl frame. Now the, this is the place where they are going to hang the spa spacers. Now they are going to do assembly. You can see here now the frame applied with the butyl they are going to stick to the glass. Wherever they have done adulation in that area, they are going to apply this spacer.
Now this is going for the pressing section. Already the one glass is one partner glass is inside the press machine. Now they are going to can send the second glass also. Now it is going for pressing. Now it is going for pressing. Already came. This is how the glass will look. You need to be fast. It will come fastly. Our glass, Bejo. In the meantime, we will take this spacer bending. Come. Hindi, ek spacer cut ke dikha. Now this is the spacer rack. So this is the spacer rack where they are going to place the spacer. And this is the spacer bending machine. Spacer bending machine. Now you can see this is a spacer bending machine where, where the glass is spacer is going to be get bent. This is the connector where they are going to join the spacer endings. Now you see the spacer is getting bent with the spacer bending machine. And wherever there is a joint with the help of this connector they are going to join the two spacer joints. Now he is going to join the two spacers. This is how it is going to look. This is a bendable spacer machine we call. Now that goes for desiccant filling, next butyl application, next assembly, next pressing. Come. Ah, this is a, this is how the glass will look. Now the first glass is coming. Now it is getting sucked in the press machine. The second glass is going to enter, the second glass is going to enter there. They are going to do assembly, that is the framework they are going to apply. you can see he is applying the spacer frame to the glass. Now 
Now the partner class is coming for assembly and pressing. This is how a glass is going to look after pressing. Now it is going for secondary ceiling. Here, Here this section. Come. Come. Now it is going for secondary ceiling. Now with the help of robot it is getting filled. So the secondary ceiling is done here with the help of robot. That is the silicon, two part silicon we are using. The silicon will give structural strength to the glass. It will bind the mechanical properties of the glass. It will give structural strength with respect to wind load dead load and thermal dilutation. So once the pasting is done, tooling will, adjust tooling will be done. Next it goes for curing. This is how a DJ glass will look alike after the process. Now once if you see the silicon is a rubber material which requires a curing. So now it goes first. Side, side. Keep side. One. Now, once the pasting is done. It is ready for curing. It requires minimum 3 and a half to 4 hours for curing and in order to acquire the adhesion, it requires 24 hours of time. Now he is doing the tooling work. Now the glass is going for curing. He is doing the corner tooling work. Paper. Butterfly, pot life, first. Now these glasses are ready for curing. It requires minimum 3 and half to 4 hours for curing and once the curing is done it requires bonding. Bonding will be done with respect to glass and frame after 24 hours. So before dispatch we need to make sure along with the curing adhesion is also there. <laughs> 